Here we will be discussing about the different stages of development of male gametophyte from uh, microspore in case of uh, Selaginella. Uh, we know the development of uh, spores have taken place leading to formation of a microspore as well as uh, megaspores. Microspore usually have outermost covering, uh, uh, spiny outermost covering called as uh, exine followed by internally we have intine. In this way it is a two layered spore, microspore will be covered by two layered structure. Now after germination it is going to form a seven celled stage with the various divisions leading to formation of a cell somewhat like this. What all kind of these divisions are and how it is going to lead a seven celled stage that is what we are going to discuss now. This seven celled stage is going to germinate into a male gametophyte. Okay. To begin with the developmental stages of a male gametophyte from microspore in case of Selaginella. The first if you are going to consider this as a microspore it will undergo first unequal division leading to formation of a two cells. One is prothelial cell, another one is antheridial cell. The first division is unequal leading to formation of a small prothelial cell and a larger one antheridial cell. This prothelial cell formed because of this unequal division is uh, sterile and it won't show any further division. It is going to act as in a vegetative cell of the male gametophyte. And secondly, now the second division will be, it is not going to show any kind of a further division. So all the division, the rest division will be of only this part. Now this upper cell, this upper cell is going to divide by a oblique wall. It is going to divide by a oblique wall leading to formation of the two cells. This is prothelial, this is primary antheridial cell. And this is first jacket cell. Now we have formed first jacket cell is formed. Jacket cell 1. Prothelial is 1. Now androgonial cell. We are going to list here. Now the third division takes place in this upper part. This, this jacket cell won't divide further. It is going to form a jacket outermost covering. So rest of the division are concerned to only this part now primary antheridial cell. Now this upper cell it divides by curved vertical wall. Curve vertical wall forming two cells. It will be somewhat like this prothelial cell oblique transaction. Now a curved vertical wall leading to formation of the two cells. These are called as two primary antheridial cell. They are two in number. This is first jacket cell. Now fourth division. Antheridial cell. The antheridial cell near to the prothelium divide periclinally by another curving vertical wall leading to formation of another jacket cell and one androgonial cell. How exactly we will see now. This is prothelial cell first oblique one curved vertical plane these two antheridial cell. Now the antheridial cell close to prothelial cell in the sense this one this cell is going to divide how periclinally this periclinal division is curved is somewhat like curving vertical wall curving vertical wall to form another jacket cell and one androgonial cell this is also jacket first this is second so we have another one jacket cell here so this is a uh, another jacket cell and one androgonial cell. Now fifth division. The first androgonial cell is formed now. 
it is formed first androgonial cell is formed now we are left with this anthocyanin cell now this cell is going to divide anticlinally to form another jacket cell and one proximal cell now these are all done now here it is going to divide anticlinally anticlinally leading to formation of one proximal cell and another one this is third jacket this is a proximal cell now another one division where another one this is a jacket cell as usual it is not going to divide further this third one first one jacket cell didn't divided second jacket cell even didn't divided likewise the third jacket also won't show any further division because all these are going to form a jacket outermost covering there is a formation of another jacket now now this proximal cell it will divide periclinally by means of another uh, vertical curving wall to form another jacket cell and a inner androgonial cell at this stage we are going to get a seven celled male gametophyte so it will be like this we had a, uh, i'm i'm just showing a enlarged view we had a prothelial cell followed by this oblique cross uh, wall formation we had this one third one will be vertical followed by another vertical we had uh, anticlinal now this is proximal this is jacket this is jacket this is jacket this is primary androgonial cell this is prothelial cell now the sixth division is another one curving vertical wall periclinal leading to formation of another jacket cell and second this is this is first androgonial cell this is second so in total we have 1 2 3 4 four jacket cell four jacket cell one prothelial cell and we have two androgonial cell so in total there are 4 5 6 7 so we got a seven celled stage uh, here seven celled male gametophytic stage here now these two androgonial cell they divide in all possible planes leading to formation of some 128 to 256 mass of cell is formed these mass cells are called as androcytes now these androcytes are going to metamorphose and lead to formation of what is called as anthrozoites these anthrozoites are somewhat uh, spiral in shape with a biflagellated structure so these anthrozoites are free to swim and reach a female gamete Uh, during the uh, rupturing of uh, uh, release of these uh, anthrozoites rupturing of exan as well as intine takes place leading to dispersal of the anthrozoites they are going to swim and uh, swim through a medium of water and reach the female gamete so uh, from microspore what we got is a spiral shaped anthrozoites which are like uh, Uh, about 256 in number more than uh, 128 to 256 in number so this was the entire process of uh, developmental stages in case of uh, uh, male gametophyte of selaginella from microspore thank you